37-9 is uh, on screen right now. She's she's a little fast, uh, but this wide belted sow sells uh, as lot 18. She's a Goosebumps C and Double uh, Dirty Secret. Uh, she's bred to Absolute, and she's due July 8th. Uh, this is a really neat sow, and uh, she uh, she's got a she's got quite a spirited attitude. And I don't it's not a bad attitude. Uh, I think that she's always been kind of that kind that knows she's. Uh, kind of on a different level, and she acts like it sometimes. But uh, I think this one is is an outlier in some areas, um, not because she's too extreme, but boots, there aren't very many of them in this sale set, even as impressive as they are, that are proportionally as ideal as she is, that have this kind of look, that have this kind of shape as a mature sow. Uh, and she can still handle it uh, skeletally. I think she's still incredible. Uh, and then to top it off, this is actually the mother of the bear that won CYE last year in California for the Cole family. Uh, that was a Dash 8 sired pig. Uh, he was a, a heavy structured, green, skinny, feedable upside kind of pig uh, that we talked about in the spring showcase a year ago. And uh, that feedable upside was true. Uh, that came true for that pig. He was a very impressive champion there in August uh, last summer in California, and this is his mother. Uh, she's bred to absolute, and I guess just to touch on a couple things in her pedigree, uh, she's a Goosebumps first and foremost, and I want to uh, accentuate just how important and vital that is, and part of the reason that she has a little extra shape uh, and a little extra there up high is, is Goosebumps. That's the Goosebumps advantage, especially over the Kingpins. They do have more shape, uh, especially up high. And then if you get into the bottom side there, that C and double sow, that was a very impressive burly uh, blue sow that would have sold a year ago. Uh, and then the bottom side of that pedigree, you go Dirty Secret and then Sugar Daddy. Uh, just lots of good stuff there uh, that gives me lots of confidence in, in her future ability to, to do it again. I think, uh, you know, some sows can be a, a one-hit wonder. Uh, you got to believe when you see this one that she's very capable of doing it again, and she's bred to absolute. Yeah, I mean, visually, this sow is as good as it gets and, and as unique as it gets. And uh, to be honest with you, um, it's so hard to not just constantly come back to her bear last summer whenever you look at the sow because there's so much resemblance in them in terms of their design from the side, their elevation, their look up front. Um, and then ultimately, there's their spread and dimension. Um, you know, I'll, I'll never forget, uh, you know, that pig little. I thought he was a little too big to stay in the Midwest. And ultimately going to California was the perfect uh, timeline for him to show. And um, when I got a video there in late June, I was kind of like, oh, oh boy, we, we need to do a little bit of work here. Um, and ultimately, um, that pig did everything we ever asked of him. He changed dramatically. He responded very quickly. And you can ask Jesse this, the pigs that do that are the sows that I've always gravitated towards because they feed. They respond the way you want them to. They change the way you want them to. And I was in Ohio last year whenever I got the final video going into the Grand Drive um, of her pig. And that was probably as impressive as a pig um, that I've really ever been a part of. Um, I thought he was truly incredible. And then here, bred to absolute. We bred the best to the best here. Um, this ought to be as good as it gets. So, again, you're looking at 37-9. She uh, sells as lot 18. She's a Goosebumps C&Double, bred to absolute, and due July 8th.